So, Fritillarius, Crown Imperials, I've heard them called. I mean, they are wonderful, wonderful things. And they, they look so beautiful when they're growing up. They, they have this beautiful foliage, really nice deep green gloss, glossy foliage, and then you get this crown. And it really is the reason they call Crown Imperials. They, they have this, this crown that is, they drop down and it looks for all the world like a crown with the flowers as the coronet round the edge of it. They're, they're beautiful and lovely, first grade plants these are. And you can grow them in a pot, on a patio, on a balcony. They're going to look absolutely magnificent. And they're so easy to do. All you really need is pebbles in the bottom. If you've got crocs, polystyrene balls. If you're on a balcony, for instance, and uh, weight, weight is a problem, keep the weight down with polystyrene balls. It's a good way to use up the old packaging. So that's just so that the moisture drains away. They, the bulb is going to swell up. But that's all it wants. It wants the moisture to pass from the rain or from you watering it. And then it's just putting in compost. Just fill this with half full of compost. It really is as easy as, and as simple as that. There's no great effort required. Just do that, tamp it down a little bit so you take out the air pockets and we're ready to plant. These giant fritillarias from Parkers are really, really good. They're beautiful size and the bulbs are fantastic. Now I'm planting Aurora, which is a beautiful orange one, Lutea, yellow, which really stands out, and Rubra, orange red. You really can't do any better. And the, the Lutea, the yellow one, really shows off the Crown Imperial, the name for the plant itself. So giant fritillarias, you can't go wrong. Now in a pot this size, I'd probably put three. Three's a nice number because they do grow very big, they swell up quite a lot and the foliage you want it in would fill this area. On a balcony or a patio they look really stunning. Now these really are top quality, uh, top quality bulbs and you might notice there's a hole down the centre on lots of them and you might think that's a bad one but it isn't. That's the way they grow, the flower actually comes out of there. All these are going to do is swell up because they grow a little bit like an onion with leaves. And it's these leaves that are going to swell up and then the flower just comes straight out the top. Beautiful dark green foliage. They really are a wonderful thing. And on a patio or on a balcony, this is going to give you a real kick. And it's as easy as this. Three in a pot this size is more than enough because it's going to fill this with foliage and then a beautiful crown imperial on the top. Lovely. And you just put the compost on the top. And if you're... Uh, what you need to do is leave about inch and a half, two inches. You'll have to work that out in metrics, about 50 millimetres. If you leave about two inches in the top, that's good enough. There you go, just smooth it out, take out the air pockets. Smooth like that and then pebbles on the top to stop the birds pecking at it. Stop the weed seeds going in and stop cats doing what cats do. Just on the top of there. In springtime, I tell you what, for that little bit of work and fresh air that you've had, that is going to be beautiful. And you're going to be overjoyed with that. And you're going to say, it's wonderful, that big Jeff. It really is. Well, our fritillaria really brightened up the patio. Here's a look at the yellow variety, Crown Imperial, in full bloom. You've got to say, that looks lovely. 